Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back. In this session, we are going to learn how to send messages from OEC integration to Slack application. When it's come to real time, we have a requirement whenever any event occurs in Oracle ERP cloud, that means uh, any invoice is created or PO is appro approved. So we need to send the notification to the our team members and users in the Slack, right? So in order to uh, build this integration, so we can use OIC integration, we can receive the messages from the Oracle ERP cloud by calling the Slack API, we can send messages accordingly. That means we are sending the complete outbound information from Oracle ERP cloud to Slack API. Now we will look at the uh, prerequisites in order to integrate with the Slack application. First uh, configuration step in Slack, you have to uh, create a Slack account with your email ID. You will get 30 days uh, free trial account. So you can use the highlighted URL in order to create a free account. So once you created account, uh, it's automatically routed to the messaging application. Okay, how we are messaging the uh, uh, message, messaging the details within our team members. Okay, similar kind of view you are going to uh, get. After that, uh, you are going to uh, create a new application from the scratch. So for that, you have to use the api.slack.com. So you can use that URL in order to create a new application. And uh, you have to uh, select the necessary uh, scopes here. And after that, you have to install the application to workspace. Okay. And you have to note down your client ID, secret code and scope. After that, we can uh, configure those details in the OIC application. Okay. Let's go through the Slack application. We will see the configuration details. You can create a free account with your Gmail ID. Okay. So you can uh, continue with your Google option. And uh, once you uh, provide the Gmail ID and you have to create a workspace. Okay. Once you complete the, all the setups, then automatically you will uh, land it to the uh, Slack messaging box. Okay. This is the channel we, which I created for the demonstration purpose. Channel name is all hello integration world. Okay. So when I am doing the integration testing, whatever the uh, event which I created in the Fusion application, we will receive to this channel. Okay. So once we are done with this basic setup, then we have to log into the uh, api.slack.com. Here you have to create a new application. Okay. In the top level right side, you can see the create new application. You can use this option. I already created a Slack test. Click on here. Okay. In the basic information, you can see the uh, application ID and uh, client ID and a client secret. Okay. And uh, if you want to see the say, client secret, you can use the show option. Okay. So this is the basic information you can see. Okay. You have to note down uh, this uh, client ID and the client secret code somewhere because these values are very important when we are doing the uh, uh, configuring the details in the OIS application. Okay. So we have to provide the client ID, client secret code. Okay. Once you noted the, the note down these two details, you have to go to the OAuth and permissions. Okay. Here you can see the user authentication token. Okay. We already installed the Hello Integration World application so that you can see that, but you have to install this. Okay. So that uh, you have to give the your OIC instance uh, redirect URL. Okay. Then only you are going to access to this application. Okay. After that, you have to uh, give your uh, uh, token scopes. Okay. You have to select uh, uh, channel read chart write, group read and group write, okay, which I already added, okay. So you have to select, uh, uh, you have to note down uh, one one scope, okay. You can use groups.read and save somewhere, okay. So once we done with the setup, now we are ready to uh, configure the uh, connection in Oracle integration cloud. Now I am going to build OS integration. So the first I have created a Slack connection. Okay. This is the existing connection. If you want to create a new connection, you can select the Slack adapter. Okay. So let me open the configuration details uh, for this. Click on edit button. Okay. So you have to select the client ID, client secret and scope. Okay. As you can see, this is the scope which we defined in the uh, api.slack.com. Okay. 
so you can pick one one uh, one scope so you can use the groups dot read okay you can provide here okay once you provide the client id client secret code and scope you have to click on the uh, provide consent and then you can click on allow okay so once you are successfully authenticated then only you can uh, save the configuration it will show the 100% okay so this is the slack connection which i created and also i created a one more connection uh, erp cloud application okay so and also we created a, uh, so do these two connections are enough okay now i'm going to create a app integration click on create application Yes, sir. Send your messages to Slack. Okay, click on create. Okay. So now I'm going to select uh, ERP cloud connection. Okay. So what you are, what you uh, want to call your endpoint so you can mention that receive event receive po event i will mention receive po event okay click on continue so we are going to uh, receive the business events raised within vrp cloud select first one okay so we are going to raise po outbound so purchase you can select the purchase okay purchase order event click and continue finish and save it so now i am going to uh, take one scope okay Okay. We can mention post PO messages to Slack. Okay. Okay, I save it. So within the scope, I am let me take one more uh, uh, scope black. It is for main black. Okay, so uh, while we are receiving the PO, uh, uh, PO event, uh, we will like uh, we are expecting uh, multiple lines also. So that what you can do, so multiple POs and multiple lines in order to handle that. Okay, you can uh, select for each. For each. PO headers okay so you can open this on event result click on the sequence click on the value okay this is the repeating element let me drag and drop here okay I can mention current header PO Okay, let me save it. Okay, so and also we can get multiple lines, right? And so what I can do, let me take one more for each. So you can search with the line okay line element this is the PO order line right so let me drag and drop so 
I have to select the current PO header for each loop. Okay, within this current PO header, we have to select the line, right? Okay, you have to select the purchase order line here. Okay, this is the one. Okay, this is the purchase order line. Okay, save it. So now I am going to uh, call the Slack adapter. Okay, let me op the, uh, open the Slack connection. Okay, invoke Slack application. Continue. Okay, here we are going to send the messages. So I am using send message, message operation. Click and continue. Click and finish. Okay. Now we are going to uh, map map the uh, map between uh, uh, source and target system source is uh, is from oracle erp cloud and target from the slack application so we already received the events from the erp application click on it option so that okay open this so our details are here okay header details these are the line details okay so what we can do channel what channel we are going to uh, provide here click on uh, target node so you can put this value in the integration properties otherwise let me log into the slack application so this is my slack uh, channel okay for this channel i'm going to send the messages okay i'm going to hot code for now okay so now we are going to uh, test the messages in a proper way. So in order to send the uh, text messages from uh, from the uh, headers, uh, headers details and line details. Okay. So I have to send something like this. Okay. So the purchase order details with the PO header ID has been approved with the, all the details. Okay. Similar way we are going to get the notification. All right. So let me configure these details. Now let me open the uh, current PO header details. Let me map the PO header ID to text. Okay. So within the mapper, I am going to use this complete uh, condition. Okay. So while assigning the message, so we, we have uh, displayed a few details from the header level and a few are so line level. Right. So order number business unit buyer name buyer email id creation date and supplier uh, we are presenting at the header level and item description quantity total amount we are presenting from the purchase uh, purchase order line level okay so same uh, uh, same statement i'm going to take it okay okay so i have updated a complete statement in order to present the uh, data in a proper way okay so it's completed validate let's go back save it let me add a business identifier Just I'm using PO header ID. Save it. Okay. Now we are going to uh, activate the integration. Let me add a debug level. Okay, so our integration is ready. Now I am going to log into the IRP application. I'm going to raise the business event. Okay, we are going to create a uh, PO. PO. Okay. 
सो लेट मी गो टू द प्रोक्यूरमेंट परचेज ऑर्डर्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन ऑर्डर क्रिएट ऑर्डर लेट मी सेलेक्ट द डेल सप्लायर ओके क्लिक एंड क्रिएट ओके लेट मी सेव इट ओके कैन यू वंस यू कम डाउन यू वी आर गोइंग टू एंटर लाइन लेवल डिटेल्स so let me take the description uh, item list of item i am going to put uh, description first item category you can take pen or something okay pen and pencils quantity 10 unit of measure each base price 100 okay save and submit okay the document purchase number created with the 165050 us okay this is our purchase order number now we are going to log into the uh, integration observer page okay we are waiting uh, for the event Let's wait for a few seconds. So now you can see that we got one message received. Okay. If you open this side. Okay. We got the message. Let's let's log into the Slack Slack application. Okay. We can see the complete details of of the uh, our notification what we sent. Okay. The purchase order details, header ID and order number, item number, buyer name, everything we can see here. Okay. So this is the way how we can build an integration in order to uh, expose uh, Slack API.